tonight. From First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Cleveland Browns taking on the New York Jets. We are in the so-called rock and roll capital of the world, Cleveland, Ohio, at First Energy Stadium on the shores of Lake Erie. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns. to do the honors here and we are underway from Cleveland. It's Mike White. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. first down that'll go for nine yards just short of the line to gain well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short what do you think early shot here i like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me i want to take that shot early and loosen things up and he'll get it down to the 47 here they did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early didn't they they did in a small sample size that we've seen so far but pretty good return yeah, you gotta like that they together a couple of first downs established what they wanted the running game and guess what they also get the lead guy running it pretty well too after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten to throw white throwing for the out route he finds Wilson and he will go out right near the 35 yard line Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. This is Wilson on the jet sweep. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. Throwing on second and eight, White. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. He's got the connection more. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 19. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here, just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at 22. Finding his way home for the sack that time, Taven Bryant. It's interesting, partner, that most defense 
defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. You get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard. Touchdown, Jets! Garrett Wilson, a 22-yard touchdown grab. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You have a lot to handle in this one. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. Leading the charge will be their quarterback. Always fun to watch, Deshaun Watson. He's exactly the man you want to control of your offense. Excellent arm, good zip on the ball. Not afraid to use his legs when he needs to. And what he's excelled at doing is making plays when the first read isn't available, but when the pressure's about to get going. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. To throw again on second down. Watson. That one is caught by Hunt. Yeah, he'll get this one. talk about understanding the playbook understanding progressions and understanding what the defense is doing we saw all of that on that play great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be found a way to have him leak out underneath hit him with the football and they picked up the first down five yards is the tally on first down that brings up second and five Watson this complete to David Bell. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. This to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first and 10, Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again is Watson. Throw complete to Bell. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside 30. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They got another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick a really nice yardage. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. <laughs> to throw is Watson. He's got a man complete. It's Amari Cooper. here in their opening series they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players that looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved yeah let's face it Brandon a player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend and we saw it right there they tried to deny an open lane to him he still played the coverage and scored the early touchdown good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on and he'll get it We'll go for two, one up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios decided not to bring it out. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. 
For the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, the last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Don't you just want to battle against the opposing defense? And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And this is picked up by the Browns. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But Still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. He's got one touchdown pass already in this quarter, obviously looking for number two, and definitely not playing the check down game. To throw once more on second and ten. Watson. Over the middle, complete. That's Hunt. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He said, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. Just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Watson down to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. You are able to send this one to four. It's 11 to seven. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive, a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's White. And he finds Corey Davis. And he is going to have the Jets first down as they're able to get the third conversion now white they've got smith here and they're gonna get this up to midfield he decided to run a hitch route it really helped have a guy who can turn it loose and boy he rifled one in there on that one not much run after catch but it worked really well there's a throw for the millions tight end and they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 37 on first and 10 it's Hall flashed the stick skills but didn't get a ton from it stopped short of the 35 and give the tackle to Anthony Walker here's second and nine just a yard on that last run now White. 
completes it to Davis. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. And he'll find Hall. And he is going to have a Jets first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four and he got four on third down. White looks to throw. Getting the football to Davis on an out route. And he'll head out of bound inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. They'll run with Hall. And he is going to lose yardage here. Second down, pretty tough. One more time with Hall. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 5 on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone, it's not a good decision. Loses of about four yards. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking sit on a lead and play that way that doesn't work too well for most teams run your offense yeah, run what you do best exactly put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way the best way to do it touchdowns and he is going to go down he will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter we are in for a good one as we're through one on ea sports Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers, about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? And that one drops down incomplete. The ball free and it's second down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. On second and ten, Watson got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. Watson to Njoku there for the Cleveland first. Watson looks to throw again. And it's incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Watson. And this one is incomplete. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Tries the right side, and he finds Bell. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves
throws him just short for fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And he's going to pick up the Browns first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. And Chubb will try the middle here. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game without just a five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. Oh, Chubb fumbled it, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Following the fumble recovery, he'll throw. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. White, they'll set up the screen for Hall. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Running left, here's Hall. And he's going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Looking to throw. White. Oh, man, here's Conklin. So the completion good for six yards. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now White from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Back deep, Jakeem Graham. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. Yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well. On the ball is out. Watson lost it. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, often, we often talk about the combine and why do you measure quarterbacks' hands? Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? On first down, Watson. Cooper, it's complete. And we're going to get this down without the 37. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Faking the give. Now Watson sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Can't be sure how much that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. 
Watson's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. From the 17, here's second and four. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets them up now first and goal. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb taking it in from seven yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is, I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard charging run, give it right back to him, and let him cap things off. will be a touchback. Marios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to put it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. And he's up in at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll run with Hall. And he will be very close to a first down. I see the close fist to the referee. And that means fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect. Red is keys. Made the play. And he couldn't even get going. Change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Watson and the Browns now with their first and 10. They're up 18. Now it's Watson. and runs in the second half of this contest. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Now a second down and six. Off of play action, it's Watson. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this 
game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. He's got the connection to Cooper. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They go with Chubb on second down. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game, stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. Well, the other day they told us, when well, we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Giving to the big tight end on four. And a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. The gutsy call turns out to be a good one, though. First down on a pickup of 11. Prior to that, they were two for two on fourth down conversions in this ball game. Now three for three. And you've got to figure their luck's got to run out at some point, doesn't it? I will just tell you from a defense's point of view, someone has to step forward on fourth down and make a play himself because they're just letting it happen to him right now. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Back to throw, Watson. Got his tight end, that's complete. That's Brown. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with the ball. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But, boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Well, Watson will step away, and out comes Cade York to handle this fourth down field goal try for the Browns. York able to send this one through. Inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher. And I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. The Jets going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. They'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. 
So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, get right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Browns are going to get the second-half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Over the middle here to Brown. And he is going to have a Brown's first down as he's able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Watson, off play action, out to his left. And some room to run now. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They go up the middle with Chubb. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 57 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football. Sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Another first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Well, they show run with three tight ends here on first down. They'll try the air now with Watson. It's caught by Bryant. And they got this down to about the 12 yard line. There's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Here's Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. Touchdown! Darrell Brown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Browns take the opening kick off the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you 
mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now Hall to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun. So they retain possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now Nick Chubb of the Browns get set for their next possession. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way to the end zone, and he's trying to do it for a second time. And, of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And, again, that second score here in the third quarter. After the sack on first down, Watson got a man. It's Brown. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And now third down and six to go. Now a play fake, and it's Watson rolling to his right. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. The Browns send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. One yard on the return, and the Jets will take over. The New York has to take the field. They've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it, it has to start right here, right now. And, and now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they have to understand they've got to go out and move fast. In addition, they need to stay much less time so they can get two more possessions. Third down, here's Hall. And he'll have a Jets first down as he'll take this up to about the 33-yard line. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward to get the first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Starting to look like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On second down, a run with Hall. And that didn't fool anybody. And now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Oh, and it's the punter, man. He puts the 
this one away. And a fair catch single four and take it successfully. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Cleveland offense making their way out. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. deep right side. He's got a man complete. A big play for Cleveland. 52 yards. Well, part I'm not sure how this drive is going to but how about the way they flip field position there. A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Extra point by York is up and good. And that will bump the lead up to 26. But York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets is coming up now to start their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. you feel like people are starting to get out of here in order to get over to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that, because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game, Watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. White now on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And get about three just outside the tips to the 11. Well, that's not a run that they make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all the game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. On second and seven, Watson. But it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete.
Clark ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many thoughts like this no matter how the game looks on paper. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And the Brown pressure gets to him in time, and he's going to go down. It's a loss of 10 on the tag. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of him. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. The Browns set to take over. They're obviously right now in the driver's seat comfortably They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And, I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see games out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field, it does appear like they're done scoring points in this one. They look awfully confident. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. But with the size of lead that this offense has, I don't think that interception's really going to affect them much. But at least for this defense, something small to hang their hat on. Yeah, and let's face it, they're not the scoreboard watching anymore, right? They're just trying their best to make a play, get themselves off the field, which they just did, and salvage a little bit of pride in this one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the gun, it's White. He finds his man, complete. That's Hall. And they're going to get this carry about the 37. In. This might be a free play. Throw left side complete. That's Knight. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one. Has it knocked loose? And this is picked up by the Browns. They're going to set up shop at the 27 yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
from the 31. Watson. And he can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. John Franklin Myers bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in the game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds they've had several turnovers, you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. Looking to throw. White. And a double coverage. And it's intercepted. Brady Williams picks it off. Well, they've got the huge lead now. They have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And this will be caught by Brown. And he'll lose yard. 32. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. A give. This is Chubb. Always oh, got some breathing room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 33 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. Those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting up. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the Jets are going to take Possession as they've got it at the 42 yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it down now. Who's happy about this now? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this, this ball game is over. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. So many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about that. In your progression, he's taken down. This will be a wild sack. Miles Garrett able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up first. He finds his man complete. That's all. He's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A good pick up there at 20 yards. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield to get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them. Go with the screen, and they're able to get a get first down.
since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they've forced in this runaway contest. Yeah, that would have lost the mark. I am in big play. And that's another play that's been a good catch this game. Game of all as this blowout's been continually fueled. Go big two overs. It stops for one set. And it ended up being a big ball from the other. So back-to-back -back incompletions. And that has him staring at a third and ten. Ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. The one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And off comes to Chubb. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Four yards to gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. And again, it's Chubb. And some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to 40 before taken down. 160 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And let's close this one out. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've... And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Browns add six more to their point total. And they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. 
Extra point by York is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback. Arios deciding not to bring it out. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. They'll get all three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead back to throw white and the Browns pressure gets to him that time and he's going to go down Jordan Elliott drops him for a four yard loss there and that brings up fourth down but when this game is done the credit will go to the consistent pressure on the quarterback as a huge cause of this win most teams are happy if they get a few of these games per year. You know they're going to watch this tape over and over, try to identify what's working, and keep it going. Cleveland geared up to take the field. You just kind of feel for the defense right now. This deficit, they have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. Oh, they're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now, trying to find that pride inside of them that allows them to continue. Huge in this game. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets to the 45. A run for Nick Chubb. Down to the 42, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. And Chubble trying to middle here. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Going with their tight end on fourth. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. And the gadget play here on fourth down winds up backfiring. And the Jets are going to get the football back. On first down, it's White. And a check down completes a haul. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Looking to throw. White. Open man is Uzama. And get this down to the 42-yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing again on second down. 
White. There's Hall bringing in another one. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitters get to see him. And then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance.